fabulous teachers in the crowd, and everybody should learn something, even at Spoke Fest. When you go out drinking with your friends, I would uh, suggest you wear a bicycle shirt because you can carry five bottles of wine at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> a rant and a rhyme. Poetry can go to the dogs. I'm okay with that. Man's best friend, dog is a family member, most of the time, the most beloved member of the family, uh, the uh, legacy of the wolf, the first domesticated animal. Some would say that men were the second semi-domesticated animal, according to many women's magazines. Our dogs tell us that a good dog can do the work of two men on the ranch. I have yet to see that happen, but I'm hopeful. <laughs> but we also understand the dogs, their instincts and their passions teach mankind a great deal, which I would like to call the canine commandments. Nap often, stretch, drink more water, mark and defend your territory. <laughs> Don't use your bite when your bark will suffice. Don't hold a grudge, let it go, shake it off. On the other hand, nobody likes a wet dog. <laughs> Greet loved ones with love and affection. You know when you leave a place and you forget something, you go back and everybody says, we thought you left. The dog says, hi, how are you? You're looking good. I miss you. Did you bring me anything? It's okay if you didn't. I just want to get a little face to muzzle time. <laughs> Enjoy the simple things in life. A ball, a stick, a bug. Take walks every chance you get. Uh, let people know what you want, and don't pretend that you know something when you don't. That's when dogs give you this little, <laughs> little kind of crooked look, so ask questions. It's a good way to start a conversation. It's not what they call you, it's what you answer to. Every meal is a good meal. Contribute to the pack, not the political action committee, the wolf pack. Come when called, go where needed. And age with style, don't feel obligated to act your age. Try a new trick. Dogs focus on happiness, and I think it's because they know their life clock turns seven times faster. So they tend to walk on the sunny side of the street. Adam in the Garden of Eden had a dream. Da Vinci had a dream. Christopher Columbus had a dream. Louis the Moor had a dream. Dogs have dreams, which leads me to the rhyme. It's become an evening ritual when the day at last does wane. There is comfort and routine that keeps us halfway sane. We feed the horses, walk the dogs, and later turn out the light. My wife's on the left, the dog's in the middle, and I'm on the right. Now the dog will circle as he must. He's not just being sly. His rounds are basic instinct. He surely knows not why. Well, he is a rather small dog that still takes up half the bed, and I doubt it's visions of sugar plums that dance in his head. He kicks and whimpers, wags his tail, then lets out a bark. What could that boy be thinking, lying balled up in the dark? Science has proven that dogs are stormy good at dreaming, but he's not a high-tech dog that would be adept at streaming. Could be he thinks he's Toto with the great and powerful wizard, or maybe the hero Balto who braved the Alaskan blizzard. His own barks don't wake him, he's sleeping through the din, believing he is a reincarnation of that wondrous Rin Tin Tin. <laughs> now I reach down to give a pat and try to comfort him, but now he's miles away and he's some wonder dog named Jim. <laughs> but he's disturbing our sleep now, I might have to take him to the cellar, but I can't wake him up just yet, he's channeling old Yeller. But he's a kicking and a growling and sometimes farting too. Sometimes makes me wonder, what would Scooby do? We need Troy to analyze this dog, which could be his salvation if we can get him back in time from being a Dalmatian. But I wish he'd take me with him on his frequent nightly tour. His nights must be better than my dreamscape du jour. Why, he's loaded cattle, moved some sheep, chased every squirrel found. You think he'd be exhausted when the morning comes around. But then he wakes and turns to me, though he's still half asleep. He's wandered half the universe with the secrets he will keep. Dog dreams. Yeah.